In today's video, you're going to see seven free things you can do to spend a day in Skagway. And at the very end, there's going to be a bonus. And the interesting thing is you can do all of these in a wheelchair. For meeting for the first time, my name is Ken Edmonds, and on this channel, I share information for individuals that travel with challenges to help them avoid the pitfalls, travel better, and I share information for their friends and their families as well. <clears throat> We're going to start by talking about things that you can do associated with the Skagway Visitor Center. Skagway Visitor Center is a quick, easy walk from any one of the four docks where your ship might dock in Skagway. The downtown area of Skagway is a historical area and so there are quite a few things uh, to dealing with the history of Skagway during the gold rush that you can see. And the visitor center is where you want to start. You can pick up a map. There's quite a few things you can do there. In, in the uh, museum at the visitor center, there's a, a plethora. Let's say in other words, uh, there's a lot of things to see and do there that are associated with the gold rush. A Skagway was where all of the miners that were headed into the Klondike to uh, search for gold, that's the port they came in. It was the closest port to the lower 48. And so literally uh, thousands of, of men went in seeking their fortune through Skagway. And that's what got Skagway started as a town, was, was the gold rush. So the museum has artifacts, and displays and information associated with the gold rush. So that was number one, it was a museum. While you're there at the visitor center, you're gonna to wanna to check out the 25 minute video, The Race to the Klondike. It's free, it's shown multiple times during the day. That's number two on our list. Our, our third interesting thing to do at the, is, again, starts from the visitor center, and it's a, a walking tour of Skagway. And there's two, actually two different tours, and you can book them separately. You wanna book them online in advance so that you get the times that you want so that it'll fit with your ship schedule while you're in port. Both of them are about 45 minutes uh, long, but they are different, and they typically are staying within about a four block area in downtown Skagway from the visitor center. So the nice thing is the Skagway is very flat. It's entirely accessible. All of the attractions that the ranger will take you to on that tour also have, will accept service animals. So no, pretty much any challenge you face, Skagway is one of those ports that works very well for you. It brings history to life in a way that few other things can. You realize that these are real places and real people that you're talking about and you can touch and feel the place and you can stand where these people we talk about did. It was very informative and I would I definitely recommend it. And at the same time it's not too long so anybody can do it. It's free. Yes. <laughs> and the walking tours are numbers three and four. Where the walking tours uh, terminate usually is at the Morehouse Museum and uh, this is the uh, restored home of the Morehouse family, and they were the first family to live in Skagway. They actually founded the town. And there's two houses there, and this is where the mobility challenge can come up, is one of the houses is an older log cabin, and there are either one or two steps, I forget, to get up in. It's not, they're not bad, but they're not, it's not wheelchair accessible very much. It's just a strictly a one room uh, log cabin. So if you can't get up there, you haven't missed a lot. But the other house, is, the, old, the newer house is accessible. And it's a great place to spend some time and get some pictures. The Moore House was number five on our list. Number six on our list is Jeff Smith's Parlor Museum. And Jeffrey Soapy Smith was a notorious bad guy in Skagway. In fact, for a while, there was a question who ruined, ruled the town, uh, the citizens or Soapy Smith. But his uh, hangout has been restored. There is a ranger there that is free and they give you a tour. This was, like I said, number six on your list. 
If you find videos like this enjoyable, do me a favor, hit the like button. Because when you hit the like button, it lets uh, YouTube know that they should show this video to other people. And I really appreciate it. Thank you. Number seven on your list is the Mascot Saloon Museum. And this is a restored uh, saloon that was at one point in time was the longest uh, gold rush uh, saloon that was still in operation. It got put out of operation uh, by the Prohibition in 1916, but it's been restored and it gives you a good idea of what saloons were like in the day. And the saloon was attraction number seven. So the question of the day is, have you been to Skagway? If so, let me know down in the comments down below, please. The first of our bonus stops is uh, the rotary snow plow that was used to keep the tracks clear on the White Pass Railway. It's uh, along the road leading into town from port, depending on which exactly where you're docked. It's within a block or so of the visitor center, so it's close, quick, and easy. And there's also a, a, a Centennial Park there, and a, a, there's a couple of statues that are a great place to get a, a photo op uh, so that you can stop by there and see those. Uh, so those are eight and nine, your bonuses. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. If you did, do me a favor, please uh, go ahead and hit the subscribe and ch click on the uh, bell icon. That way uh, you'll get notified when I make my next video and there's at least one new video every week.